Side scant attention these days, and as a result, a great deal escapes us and we no longer understand our own actions. So it remains important and salutary to speak not only of the rational and the easily understood, but also of enigmatic things, the irrational and the ambiguous, to speak both publicly and privately. Oh, 
<laughs> Who's this? This is Eros. Oh, God of love. Well, why does he have wings? So he can move quickly from body to body. Why is he almost naked? To make us transparent. To make us what? Transparent in our love. Foolish to others. Exposed. <laughs> Then, why is he blind? He's always pictured blind, but he really isn't. Because in our love, we are so ignorant and so compulsive. Well, there's that. What else? He's pictured blind to show how he takes away our ordinary vision, our mistaken vision that depends on the appearance of things. Oh. Now who's this coming down? Her name is Psyche. Psyche? Her name is Psyche? Yes. What is she doing here? Well, she's married to the god. But she's never actually seen him. How did they meet? Psyche was so beautiful. The goddess Aphrodite hated her. So she sent her son down to punish her, but he fell in love instead. Does she know that he's a god? No. She suspects he's a monster. <laughs> the mingled branches of the trees above, the ardent prayer of horses, and Philemon. Let me die. die, still loving, and so never die. 